Welcome back to the cottage everyone. Glad to have you here. Today I'm going to give a little tour of our minimalist master bathroom, including showing you where we keep all of our stuff. As more of our personal friends become aware of our minimalist lifestyle, the question I seem to get asked quite a lot is, well, what do you do with all of your stuff? You know, the things you need. So I thought it might be interesting to give you sort of an in-depth view of one of these hardworking spaces and show you where we keep our products and also how many products we actually have. But first I want to give you a little tour of the bathroom and I'll throw in a few video highlights of us doing the actual construction because I didn't get a video put out then and this might be a fun way to kind of add that footage in. Our master bathroom is not real big. In fact, the open dimension of the space is about five and a half feet by five and a half feet, not including the shower. However, it packs a punch with all of its function and everything is laid out in a way that everything's very functional and useful. The tile work in our bathroom was done by none other than me and Though I do not claim to be an expert at all, in fact this was my very first tile project, I think they turned out pretty good. The floor tile was a bit more challenging to work with because they came in sheets of hexagon tiles and to get them to fit just right was a little bit challenging. The shower tile was quite a bit easier, it's just a standard subway tile. We opted to not do any sort of shelf or ledge. Um, partly because of cleaning purposes and partly because I wasn't sure I'd be able to make it waterproof enough. And so we just kept everything very, very simple. And as beautiful as all the tile work is, the real showstopper in the room is our custom made vanity. This is something that I had seen a similar product to in a Pottery Barn website or magazine and I fell in love with that, but I did not fall in love with the price tag that they were selling it for. And so I asked my husband if he would consider building it, and he ultimately did agree, though he was somewhat hesitant because, again, when it comes to first, this was his first piece of furniture that he's ever built. We did some design work in SketchUp together, and he filmed the entire process of putting the custom vanity together, which I will link that video here. It's a fairly simple design. It has open shelving on the bottom where we have basket storage and then there is two um, drawer fronts on the front of the vanity. One is just a fake front and the other is an operable drawer. This is where we keep most of our products. The vanity top is something that I picked up at our local Habitat Restore and I was just looking for something neutral and basic and just a really simple shape and I think I picked it up for like $15 or something really low. And so the total product cost of the vanity, including the, the vanity itself and the hardware and the top, but not including the faucet, was somewhere around $50, which is pretty amazing. The faucet we went with is through Delta, and it's just a sleek, clean look. It's the same faucet we used in all of our other bathrooms. We generally keep the top of our counter very clear besides our soap dispenser. Every once in a while I'll bring in some fresh flowers, but generally speaking, it's left pretty clear. I wanted the mirror in this room to span the entire width of the vanity, and so we picked up this large mirror at Menards. The lighting above the vanity is just a simple globe light. We also have a can, a waterproof can in the shower, but I have that turned off right now because it also has a automatic fan built in, which is pretty great because it gets the steam out and you get a nice light right in the shower. We opted for a shower curtain instead of a glass shower enclosure, and I have contemplated maybe in the future upgrading to a glass um, enclosure. However, the more that we're living with the curtain, the more I kind of like it because you can take the curtain right off and throw it in the washing machine. And also it helps to hide where we keep our shower products. We have a basket on the floor in the shower where we keep our shampoos and our razors and whatever else we need in the shower. It's very handy. It has holes in the bottom of it and so the water drains out. It doesn't get gross and sticky. And it's just a really handy and simple solution if you don't have any shower shelves or ledges built in. Our towel hooks and our toilet paper holder are also Delta products. 
And I'll be honest, my husband does not like the hooks. They're sort of a chunkier style to them and he doesn't think they grab the towels well enough. He wants to be able to just throw a towel and have it catch it and they don't do that, they slide right off. Um, so it is something that we may end up fixing or changing out in the future. However, we are pleased with our toilet roll holder. It's a very simple design. Again, you can just move the toilet paper roll on and off without any troubles when it comes to refilling it. Our toilet is something that took a little while for us to get used to. It's the higher height version and we were sort of told when we were building that that is better for accessibility when you get older. It did take us a little while to get used to it, but we are used to it now. And next to the toilet we keep our small garbage container and behind the garbage is where we keep our bathroom spray. So now I'm going to show you where we keep all of our stuff. We have two large bins that are underneath the sink and those hold multiple items. So our the left side bin is where we keep our pajamas or clothes that we're going to wear again. So in a lot of houses they might people might have like a chair or something where they throw their pajamas or they throw their clothes that they're going to wear after work and this is kind of our chair. We just keep it in a basket instead of on the chair and it works really handy for us. Change into your clothes in the morning, put your jam pajamas in there and push it back in underneath the sink. I also keep my curling iron in the left basket. It's just kind of an awkward shaped item. It fits well down there. The right basket is used for our laundry and my husband was real creative um, to get the basket to fit. He had to cut out the back because of the plumbing and so we put all of our laundry in there and on laundry day I pull it out and we use it. And next to the laundry is where we have our like surplus toilet paper and also surplus um, shampoos and things. And now I'll show you what we have inside our one drawer in our bathroom. As I mentioned earlier, the top drawer of the cabinet is a false front and the bottom drawer is operable. My husband had to work around the plumbing when he built the vanity and so the middle section is kind of skinny and there's two larger portions of the drawer on either side. So mine is on the left and my husband's on the right. We share a, the middle section with our toothbrushes, our fingernail clippers, I have a bag for feminine products, and just kind of everything is sort of in its place. We did not plan for these bins to fit just perfectly on either side, but we found these metal baskets that like they literally fit perfect. And that keeps everything kind of organized and in place. And I'll show you what we have inside these baskets right now. I tend to keep my makeup routine very simple and because of that I'm able to keep everything that I need inside of one small bag. This includes my moisturizer in the morning, it includes my foundation, blush, eyeshadow, mascara, and I also have a few tools including an eyelash curler, an eyebrow brush, and a blush brush. I don't have any special skincare routine. I don't have any creams or special washes or anything like that. What I do use is a baby wash and that is a product that I can use for multiple purposes including shaving my legs, washing my face and taking off my makeup and having one product to do all of these things really simplifies the amount of products that I need. I hope you liked today's video and I hope it answered any questions you may have had about where we keep all of our stuff. Simple answer is we just don't have a lot of it and so we can keep it in a smaller space. Thanks so much for stopping by the cottage and I hope to see you again really soon.